Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So today I have for you a process video of week 44 of my 2020 Project Life album. I did print out my photos using the Epson PM400 uh, photo printer and that prints 4x6 as well as 5x7s and this is such a convenient printer for me ever since I started printing at home but I started off with a selfie, um, but I upgraded to this Epson PM400. I have not ordered photos online, and I typically, usually have been able to keep up with my Project Life album. Now granted, these videos were recorded months and months ago, but I took a break from posting onto YouTube, so that's why there's a large gap up from when I actually worked on my process videos and uploading them up onto YouTube. So I'm using the Studio Calico October Documenter Kit, and this is the week of Halloween. So you'll see that there's some trick-or-treats and costumes and pumpkins in this um, layout. And so I'm going through my card journaling cards from Studio Calico to see which cards I want to use. And I'm using the 4x6 cards first. And I do have two white card stocks drawn with the grid of a Design A page protector and I make my process easier by always using a design A and if I need to include an insert then it'll be an insert that's smaller than 12 by 12 and I'll usually put an Avery index tab there to signify what event it is. But I do try to limit myself to just a two page spread. So I went ahead and went through the three by four cards as well and decided where I wanted to use journaling cards and where I wanted to use filler cards. And I'm using my One Canoe 2 date stamp and I'm going to use the Stays on Ink to date stamp every photo as well as journaling card. And this is a photo of my son having Wetzel's pretzels. Um, and I wrote on this label which I did purchase from the Studio Calico website. It is the print and cut labels that coincide or work with the documenter kit so the colors are perfectly matched. I wrote on here Wetzel's pretzels means one thing therapy day and then I'm using a gray zebra sarasa vintage dark gray pen. I like to do my journaling or my handwriting journaling using a dark gray pen rather than a black because it's not as stark as a black pen would be but yet it's still easily readable. Now I'm taking this 4x6 card that says memory 1, 2, and 3 and cutting it down to 3x4 cards so I can fit, fit it into the 3x4 portion of the page protector. I am using the, these alphanumerics from a old Felicity Jane kit and I am just putting the number 44 to demarcate that this is for week 44. Now these diamonds and triangle chipboard shapes that come with the kit I always have a hard time using them, but yet I try to force myself to use them anyway. And I'm going through and I'm going to stamp the diamond using the Versa Fine, and I'm using my Co-Creo adhesive to adhere that down right into the middle of that. And I'm using a stamp set from the Ali Edwards Stories by the Month kit, and it says October Stories Have My Heart. Now October is a favorite month of mine because it's my birthday month as well as Halloween, and Halloween is one of my favorite um, holidays of the year. So that's how I'm going to mark the week 44. Then I have a picture of my daughter eating Hershey Kisses. I can't even remember why I took this photo so I'm just date stamping that. And the photo on the top right hand corner is of a famous YouTuber and a makeup artist who commented on my video. So I wanted to just uh, record that for posterity's sake. Now on the bottom picture is a picture of my daughter. She's a kitty cat and I cut down the edges, the white border that was initially on there using my tonic guillotine and I'm using my gray journaling card and, I mean journaling pen, excuse me, and wrote, Kaya insisted on being a kitty cat for Halloween. And so I drew her nose and her whiskers using a uh, liquid eyeliner and I am going to end up stamping on that and using a the alphas, but I'll sh show you that in a minute. I did deep stamp the bottom photo of my kids. They all decided to go as food because all their friends went as food as well, except for Kaya, but she's the only girl, so it ended up being okay. So on the memories journaling card, I wrote, the boys all talked online about being food for Halloween. 
memory two, no trick-or-treating this year because of the pandemic, which is a huge memory, right? And number three, the Gordons graciously offered to host Halloween this year. And I say that because every year we host Halloween, but I didn't want to throw a party. And uh, my girlfriend, Christina, said she would throw a party for Halloween. So we went to her house instead for the first time in I don't know how long. Okay, we're going on to the right-hand side of the layout. And I have this picture of all of us, the Gordons and the Tams. We all social distance together since the beginning of time. So our families are always together. So I did that. Then on the bottom right-hand corner, I cut, I printed a picture into four by four onto a four by six, but I'm cutting that down so that it's about three and a half by three and a half. And I adhered that down to a four by six card. But on this trick or treat journaling card, I wrote the Gordon's planned fun Halloween party. There was pumpkin carving games and trick or treat bags. Poor Uni would win a game, then pick a trick bag, which was full of vegetables. The really sad slash funny part of this story is that this happened to him three times. Poor kid could not stop crying. I know, I laughed so hard, but poor kid. I mean, he's only, how old was he when this happened? Eight years old? And he kept, or nine years old, and he kept getting the bag of vegetables instead of the bag of candy. But we were dying laughing, so I had to write that down. So after I journal that, I'm going to use washi tape that came with this kit, and I have a hard time using washi tape onto my Project Life layouts as well. If you guys have any ideas of how to incorporate more washi tape into my layouts, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know how to do that. But I do go ahead and adhere that down to the bottom portion of this journaling card. And then I'm going to use my Tim Holtz mini snips and I'm going to snip away the edges because the width of this is bigger than the space I have on the journaling card. You'll see there that I do go ahead and snip off the edges. After that, I am going to try, try being the operative word, um, to use the diamond and triangle shapes that come with this kit. I have a very, very hard time using these kinds of embellishments. I just don't know how to use them, I guess, and when I do use them, it feels awkward, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm going to try to use those onto this pink gingham paper, or journaling card, I should say, and I'm adhering these down using the Coquio adhesive, and I'm having them come off the page, and I like to try to get an odd number, but I'm looking here, and it's two, four, six. I got six pieces on here, <laughs> so that didn't work. But um, I should have just thrown away these uh, embellishments because I never, or I have a hard time using them. I don't know why I forced myself to use them when I don't like them, but I did. So there's that. So I adhere that down, and then I'm going to cut off the excess, the parts that are going off of the journaling card, off so that this will fit into a 3x4 card. Oh, this is where I try to add one more piece, and it doesn't end up working. So... <laughs> My odd number, or what I wanted to be odd number, ended up being even. I couldn't get that to work right there. <laughs> so I end up not using it. I, I, I keep trying to make it work, but I finally give up. And so I trim away the excess. And these mini snips are really great to use for Tim Holtz because they are titanium, so the sticky part doesn't adhere to the scissors. Okay, I take a bow sticker, puppy sticker, and I put it onto this stripe journaling card, and I wrote on the bottom the Gordons, the Tams, and the Reardons. I know, it seems so silly for me to write that, but you know what? Down the road, who knows if I'm going to remember that or not. And I always tell my kids that scrapbooking is for me, it's not for them, they're going to have to pry all of these albums out of my cold dead hands because what if I have Alzheimer's when I get older? I can look at these albums and hopefully jog my memory. <laughs> On the bottom journaling card I wrote, after it got dark, the kids got, got comfortable to watch The Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus. They took their big TV and took it outside for the kids to watch outside like picnic style, movie theater style, which was really nice. Now on this polka dot journaling card, I'm using the October Memories stamp from the Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kit. Clean that off with the stamp chamois, and I did use the VersaFine ink pad because that does a great job of stamping um, intricate designs, and it's super clear. 
and I wrote, hopefully we'll be back to trick-or-treating next year. One can only hope, right? So after that, I am going to start using some more embellishments that came with the kit, as well as Allie Edwards Stories by the Month kit. I'm going to put the layouts next to each other so I can see where I want to put what. I do end up putting some chipboard embellishments then, as you can see here, after I recorded this, the Trick or Treat, the October, and the Boo. Well, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you next time.